hi hey hey thank you for coming to my channel um so yeah, this video was meant to be yesterday um <laughs> and i forgot i had a busy weekend i'm gonna get into it um but it's a good thing to put on what i on my uh, what i've learned behind the scenes video such as this one um so I'm, i wrote a list <laughs> so i could keep track of it um, so what did I learn? I learned how to make a YouTube channel art. If you don't know what that is, if you go to YouTube and you go to the channel, there's usually like a little image on the top, um, and underneath that will be their name and description, that sort of thing. So I made a, a little uh, image there, which you can see on my YouTube channel, and I also um, put the same one on my Facebook as well for continuity, and because I really liked it, I put a lot of effort into it, and I was like, you know what, we can use it for both platforms. And I did that on a platform, on a web website called um, snapper.com um, and it helps you to make a, a YouTube art that is the right size for your for that space at the top um, and also when you use um, different types of devices you get a different size image so for the uh, phone you get a smaller image a tablet a little bit bigger and the TV it's a sort of a huge size image so you get to sort so you can you make the, the image as a, as a big piece of art um, and then you make sure that all the text is in the middle so that when it's on a phone or a small device you can see it but on a bigger device you have sort of more space to play with and you add more things um, so I did that via snapper.com it's a free site to use um, and it's really easy to, um, to make different kind of images and promotional materials um, so I highly recommend it um, and one of the things I forgot to put on my last week vlog uh, vlog, point of vlog, it's not a vlog, it's a video, um, was that I actually did learn something. Um, I learned how to use the canvas, on the canvas, Canva, my brain started, Canva, which is very similar to Snapper, it's also free, and you can make, um, sort of the same, um, same things on both sites. Um, I mean, out of the two, I feel like Canva, um, is a little bit easier to use um, in that it's sort of it, everything is sort of signposted a lot easier than in Snapper. Um, it's all very plain and you have to sort of look through it and figure it out. Whereas on, on Canva, you can figure out okay, these are the templates, this is what I want to make. Here I can insert an image, here I can insert a shape, um, and it's all very self explanatory. Um, so I use that to create my schedule art, which is on my Facebook uh, blog. And this week I learned that um, was, I wrote two blogs on the weekend so I wrote, I'm trying to write the blogs in advance now and um, so I wrote them I write the Monday and the Thursday blog on Saturday and Sunday last week um, I wrote the two blogs both on Saturday uh, the weekend just gone was quite a busy weekend um, so I had to write one on the Saturday and one on the Sunday um, and consequently I felt like they were um, shorter, vlo shorter blogs um, and sort of I'd say easier subjects to talk about that didn't need a lot of research um, and I had to change, I changed both of the um, the titles and topics of them just because what I originally had would have required sort of more time and more um, more time, more thought and more research into it and I didn't feel like I had enough time to write it um, the way I want it, I'm a perfectionist, I'm not going to lie um, I didn't, wasn't able to write it to the, the nearly the standard that I want um, so I'm going to postpone those two ideas um, for when I feel like I have a little bit more time in the weekend um, or when I get used to my job and I can actually start doing some writing in the evenings um, but now my brain is just so tired um, that by the time I get home all I want to do is go to bed, eat, watch the videos, go to bed. Um, but it's a Monday and I've posted the blog and I'm doing this video. So I think I'm doing good. I don't know why this keeps... I'm watching the playback um, and the colour's funny. Um, also, I'm using my head to block that light <laughs> um, because I don't have the greatest of lighting. Um, but I didn't want to turn the light off and then you would see hardly anything, so... Uh, what can I say? I'm an angel. Um, yeah, I'm learning that I need to figure out lighting. Um, editing will be nice. Um, but for now, I'm happy just to make the videos. And I hope you are too. Happy just to see the videos. Um, and I know it's early days, so I can't be judging myself and go, I don't look like this YouTuber, that YouTuber who's been doing it for, I don't know, five, ten years, and they have all the, the editing experience or have an editing team. It's not going to look like that. And you know what? 
uh, it's not going to because I don't have the same skills or equipment or knowledge so I'm just just gonna have to be like this for now I'm gonna have to stop judging myself that's one thing I need to learn is to stop judging myself and just let the process happen as it's gonna happen um yeah notes also things I've forgotten to do this week I need to update the schedule um, because it says that I'm gonna do YouTube videos on Wednesday and Sunday and that was the plan originally I, but then I got this job and I thought it'd be easier just to start with one a week um, I do have an idea for the Wednesday one which I'm gonna try and incorporate at a later date but for now it's already week two and this has come out on a Monday rather than a Sunday but better late than never so that's something I need to do um, if you are thinking of vlogging and you have a full-time job um, it's gonna be hard not gonna lie it's only a the beginning of the second week of doing full-time job and a blog um, but it does, yeah, it does take time to write. If you want to write something good, it does take time. Um, if you want to keep up with the Instagram and the social media, that takes time. And also, if you have a YouTube channel, it's going to take time as well. So essentially, it is like working on a part-time job. Uh, so except to you don't get paid for it um but you do it with love do it for the love of it so if that's something you want to do and you're willing to put in the time and effort then do it because it is it's fun and even if like i know this is probably not gonna get watched by many people uh one if i'm lucky um but just to to do something like this um that i've wanted to do for a while it's great yeah i'm doing it more for me than i am doing it for you guys uh, although i am doing it for you guys i love you guys so much um but at this beginning moment, it's just a fun little thing. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that because I'm rambling um, and it's getting late. So I will post this pretty much in like five minutes um, and get it up to you guys. So if you're in the UK and it's the evening time, have a great evening. If it's the morning time where you are, good morning. And if it's the afternoon, good afternoon. I love you guys so much and I will speak to you soon. Bye! <laughs>